Mackenzie Milton grew up the youngest of four brothers, and that meant football games at a young age. I started playing football about five years old, and I started playing tackle in second grade. And this wasn't just backyard football. Milton's parents ran a youth football league on the island of Oahu. It was an old military league that was failing, and um, I just had a vision for it. And then how my husband got involved was like, I need a coach. And he's like, I don't have time to coach. And then the rest was history, 17 years of uh, running a program. That football foundation led to a stellar prep career at Mililani High School. Milton led the Trojans to four playoff appearances and a state championship in 2014. <laughs> Even with all those accolades, only a few college programs offered him a scholarship. Hawaii, Navy, and Air Force. Last couple weeks before signing day, uh, I just wanted to take my visits to make sure I was uh, making the right decision. I took a visit to the Naval Academy. I loved it up there with Coach Neil Matalolo and those guys. Then two months before signing day, Scott Frost landed the head coaching job at UCF. Frost had seen Milton at an Oregon Ducks passing camp and he was impressed. In my opinion, if McKenzie was 6'4", he'd be one of the top two or three quarterbacks in the country. Frost extended a scholarship offer to Milton, so he and his mother flew 4,700 miles to Orlando and they were instantly sold on the Knights program. I saw the campus, all the coaches opened me with, uh, treated me with open arms and I just kind of fell in love with all the guys, with the coaches, and it was a great situation, great place. Kind of reminds me of home a little bit. Then as a true freshman, Milton was thrown into the fire. An injury to Justin Holman early in the 2016 season at the extensive playing time for McKenzie. Despite his lack of experience, Milton accounted for 13 total touchdowns and helped lead the Knights to a bowl game. <laughs> then in 2017, with Holman graduated, the Knights were Milton's team and he entered fall camp as the clear starter with a better understanding of the offense. It's like anything else, uh, you get more reps with your guys, um, you build that chemistry, uh, you start to recognize coverages a little better, you start to learn your system even better, and, and it's like anything else, uh, you just grow with time uh, and, and experience, and the game slows down uh, quite a bit from year one to year two, I'll say. That better understanding led to the best season by a UCF quarterback in program history. Thirty-five touchdown passes, seven rushing touchdowns, the highest scoring offense in the country, and most importantly, a perfect 12-0 record. I'm just grateful for these guys, the way they played week in and week out, the way they come to practice, the way they attack, and I'm just grateful to be a part of this team. He's lights out, man, and uh, he's not getting enough credit for what he does on the football field. Uh, in my opinion, he should be in, in the Heisman race. And the new guy seems to agree. Josh Heupel was a Heisman Trophy runner-up himself at Oklahoma, then coach Sooner QBs Jason White and Sam Bradford, who both brought home the bronze statue. Great quarterback coming back who's put up huge numbers, who's played really smart football, who's made plays with his arms and with his legs. That's special. If, you, if you're going to have a championship season, you have to have a championship cali caliber quarterback, and it's always great to have that piece coming back. 